about the main proposal was to relaunch monitoring. It means that at the moment, um, Turkey is in process of post-monitoring. It means that there are 12 points. If they are fulfilled, then everything is precisely well done. But the fact is that years and years uh, to fulfill uh, points is a bit complicated, not to say that there is kind of uh, um, sub there are some obstacles uh, which can't allow to Turkey to fulfill points. So it means that if there hasn't happened years and years nothing, then we need to turn another level. And that level is much tougher dialogue, and that is called monitoring. No, I don't think it's happened, but uh, I have been a rapporteur since 2015. And we have uh, uh, tried to, to get them to re-control the, the 50 to 12 points so that it could be in a better mood. But they have not done it. So therefore, this is not a punishment. This is a help for them. We have to help them even more than we have done the last two years. I think that uh, Mr. Erdogan, entire one Erdogan, is not I mean Turkey with 80 million inhabitants. So it means that we are working for that, that Turkish who want democracy, rule of law and human rights to be on first place, that their interests are covered. So I think that that is helpful too. Of course that is not monitoring uh, per se the, the best one, but that is good instrument that is not solution, but is, that is instrument, and we give our supportive hand, like Council of Europe, to Turkey, who is member state of Council of Europe. Maybe it can, but I have not to think about it of, of that way, because um, we got the same answer wherever we are in Turkey to ask them what they mean about the situation. I think that's not any changes. So maybe, um, maybe I, I'm not so sure that's the right one. Yeah, well, the, the very first uh, demand or request, uh, to put that dip diplomatically, is to lift as soon as possible the state of emergency uh, clause. Because that is uh, not any more in place, in our opinion, and uh, that is harming democracy. So, I mean, uh, like Venice uh, Commission said, that as soon as possible. In fact, uh, Venice Commission made quite clear statement that either you lift state of emergency or you postpone referendum. Neither nor. Yes, I'm hopeful. I hope for the best for the Turkish people. And I hope that also the leaders will see what's the best for the Turkish people. And that's a democratic uh, Turkey. To, uh, to are comparing with us, to, uh, to cooperate with the other European countries. In fact, if new elections will take place, maybe we see quite different picture. Because, well, I think that turn out what we were faced, we both were observers during the referenda, turnout was 85%. So still, I mean, everything is possible. And I was nicely surprised how much democratically oriented Turks are in Turkey. And that is great hope for me. And the government has ensured us so that this will be the best for the Turkish. So now it's up to them to show us that they are right. And once again, I mean, monitoring process is not punishment, it's not stigmatizing uh, Turkey, but that is tool which is useful for Turkey and for European uh, Council of Europe as well. So that is working together, have sincere, enhanced, deep friendship. <laughs>